Hi, we're here with Alex Liddell from EPC, and what we have behind us here is a brand new DC-DC converter that's like super small and super efficient. Alex, tell us a little bit about the technology we have running behind us and uh, showing up on our scope. So, you know, for eight years, EPC has been working to improve DC to DC conversion. And there have been many barriers as we've gone forward. For example, when we first started, there were no driver ICs, and there were no magnetics, and there were no controllers. Uh, and now, over the last several years, we've actually gotten to the point where we can, uh, we can quantify that our DC to DC converters with GAN are faster than anything in silicon, smaller than anything in silicon, and also cheaper to build than anything in silicon. And uh, to give an example, here's a, a, a demonstration system you can buy on our website, the 9130, uh, and it's uh, running 720 watts. You can see the heat pulses coming up and down. It uses our fifth generation EPC 2045s with the brand new UP1966A drivers from UPI in Taiwan, which are more powerful than any drivers around. It also uses uh, new generations of magnetics, in this case from Vichy, and there's also from TDK, which give you much more efficient, uh, uh, at higher frequencies, uh, uh, much more efficient power conversion. So we've been able to translate that into uh, 1,400 watts per cubic inch, 96% efficiency, with a bill of materials that costs less than six cents per watt. That is more efficient than anything out there, it is smaller than anything out there, and it is lower cost than anything. It's just dirt simple because GAN is so much better than anything in silicon. I would think with the better magnetics, the better drivers, and the better transistors, um, that ought to be a little bit easier to design. Yes. It is, because it's a simple book converter. You don't have to make a very complicated, super resonant something or other. It's just a hard switching buck converter running, in this case, at 700 kilohertz, and it just beats everything that else is out there, everything that's in silicon. Interesting. Where do you think we'll see this applied first? So the, the new market that's emerging is the high-end gaming market. I mean, gamers really demand enormous performance, and they've actually been driving this uh, performance of these uh, autonomous vehicle electronics, the graphics in that, They've also been driving the performance of artificial intelligence, and to my surprise, who knew, cryptocurrency mining. All of those applications uh, are very heavily graphic intensive, GPU intensive, and they use our devices to get this intense power density that they need to fit into form factors that are practical and without burning up all your electric bills. <laughs> well, who knew? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> well, thanks for that, Alex, that's interesting. Thank you, Lee.